Hello and welcome to the Book of Unwritten Tales, The Critter Chronicles, where I had indeed missed something. You can click this chain over here. The chain can certainly take a wallop. Maybe I can use it as a weapon. The chain is beyond my reach. And then this is what you need this for. The chain would slide over the metal pipe and make a hell of a noise. Zazie would notice and be really mad. Um, and apparently we have to get Zazie to plug her ears by repeatedly talking to her. So let's do that. Um, Zazie? Are we there yet? <sighs> I have to go. What? I really need to go to the bathroom. Hold it in. Will you read me something? No. Can we play a game? No. I spy with my little eye something that begins with B. Will you shut up? Just sit there in your cage and shut your mouth. But, but are we there yet? Life is so unfair. I wish just once I could have a decent streak of luck. And I wish I could have my hands on the elm and my ears at the same time. So I wouldn't have to listen to your pathetic whining. Wait a second. That should help. Keep talking, I'm all ears. <laughs> So now we can do this. All right, let's give it a try. I hope Zazzy really can't hear anything. Excellent. What was that? What? That sound. You mean my excited heartbeat when I see you from behind? <laughs> I've got the chain. All right, and then somehow we need to use this, so... Assuming I hit one of the spokes with a hook, the chain would wrap around the wheel. That won't help me. Okay. Maybe the best chance I've got. Hey, stop! Whew, that was close. The hatch looks like it will hold for now. I've got to get that green skin off my ship, but how? Ah! Any ideas? Hey, Mary. Well, what's going on? Ah! Will you help me now to get Mazaz overboard? Is that the person hacking away at my hatch? That's right, and before that, she spat on your deck. That is... Who spits ah! on an old lady's deck? I will avenge you, my lady. But to do so, I need help. <sighs> All right. Look under the rug. There's an entrance to a secret cargo hold that ah! was used to transport smuggled goods. A hatch leads from there to the hull. Ah, that could definitely be useful. Thanks. See you later, Mary. See you later, little man. Ah! Under which rug? Ah, this one. Hmm. Ah! A 
A solid wooden hatch with a lock. Hmm. Huh. Some sort of combination lock, only with symbols instead of numbers. And what's this? Ah! A little note that was slipped under the lock. Ah, a cheat sheet. How handy. The following clues are written here. One, under the ship. Two, symbol in the mirror. Three, age of the Mary. Under the ship. Is air? <laughs> I don't know. A symbol in the mirror was sort of like that. Does it have to be like in the middle? So is is that it? Age of the Mary. I think I got a... This pass. won't be locked much longer. Whatever you're gonna try, it won't work! Hey, Mary! Well, what's going on? The hatch to the cargo hold is sealed with a symbol lock. What's the combination? Ah! No idea. Capanolos installed it because he was worried about his lock collection. How old are you, Mary? Is that any sort of question for a lady? Open up, Nick! I asked you, you don't first. Stand a chance. And I won't answer. <laughs> um. I think it's amazing how young and radiant you look. Oh, ah! really? Yes, your wood shines, your rivets are bright. Go on. Um, your lines are taut, your hull is curvy. You look like you just came out of the shipyard. Ah! Oh, you old sweet talker. I do keep myself in good shape. You sure do. You don't look a day over 95? I'm 81. <laughs> Way too easy. Ah! So she's 81 today, but... Uh, how old was she then? When exactly did Captain Olos install the symbol lock? Let me think. Captains, ah! Captain Koo, Captain Warrups, and before that, Captain Olos was here. That must have been 12 years ago. Hmm. So, 12 years ago. 81. Open up, Nick! You don't stand a chance! <laughs> Zazie, quiet, please. 81 minus 12 is 69? Underneath. Ah! So, on your belly. Bow. Exactly. Do you have any sort of symbol there? I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Some sort of marking in the wood? Ah! A serial number or a brand? I am neither a cow nor a ship off the assembly line. Mm, but something has to be there. Ah! Mm, so she's not going to tell us. See you later, Mary. See you later, little man. How do we find that out? Ah! All right. Three wheels, each with several symbols. Yeah. 69. And then that's the symbol in the mirror. Two out of three would probably be enough. So let's go. Let's Open see. up, Nick! You don't stand a chance! Hmm, there's a sliding hatch. It must lead outside. 
Take Mizaz forever to smash the hatch. If I could steal her axe, it would stop her. Maybe I can lure her here somehow and then sneak through the cabin to the hatch. You might as well open up, Nate! You don't stand a chance! What the? Too slow. Mizaz isn't distracted long enough if I make noise for just a short time. Hmm. This wooden hatch is the only thing standing between me and a berserk bounty hunter. Luckily, it's really solid. Open up, Nate! You don't stand a chance! I think I'm going to save the game just in case. There, game's all saved. Ah! What do we do now? The fire in the oven is out. All I can see are a few smoldering pieces of wood in the middle. Ah! A thing like this certainly belongs there, but I'd better not destroy it just yet. Okay. So what do we do then? I don't think ah! there's anything else here. One wrong step and there goes our rating. So do we somehow use these things down here? Ah! No? What the? Right, that's just a short burst of noise as well. Strange. Ah, too slow. Mizaz isn't distracted long enough if I make noise for just a short time. Hmm. Ah, that won't work. The mouthpieces don't fit together. Wooden hatch. Ah! Let's go down there and um, look at our surroundings down there a bit more. Is there anything? So there's the propeller, but we can't use any of these things on it or anything. Water reservoir. Or you a might ballast as well tank. open up, Nate! You I don't admit stand I'm a not chance. an airship expert. Not yet. Huh? Rope with grappling hook. 
I still can't believe that Mazaz was able to fool me so easily. I mean, me! The master of cheap tricks! You might as well open up, Nate! You don't stand a chance! So we got a rope with grappling hook. I could attach the hook to her belt, but she yes! noticed and then I'd be in trouble. As I thought, tools and materials for the maintenance and repair of the balloons. A brush, putty knives, a needle with tear-proof thread, a roll of adhesive tape. I'll take that. Adhesive tape. I don't need the other stuff. I just hope the balloons can go another few hundred miles without repair. From up here, Mazaz almost looks like an ant. A 200-pound, muscle-bound, green bounty-hunting ant. So what do we do with the tape? I shouldn't draw attention to me until I have a good escape route. Okay. I could keep her busy longer if I attach the things. You might as well open up, Nate! You don't stand a chance! You can't attach it to the propeller. That could work. The horn acts as a funnel and compresses the headwind into the mouthpiece. Now, quick! Huh? What is that thing? That was close. But I got the axe. That will at least gain me a little time. So, what do we do now? Unarmed, she's dangerous. <laughs> I won't get into a fight with her. Okay, okay, okay. Flag. A flag with a strange coat of arms. It's tied to the main balloon with four cords. Do we use. I ought to be able to cut through the cords with this, eventually. Whew, got it. All right. So now we have a flag. And an axe. Mazaz would notice ah! that I the flag to her clothes. It would take too long.
do we cover this and then she falls through? No. Ah! What do we do with this? Zaz would notice if I tied the flag to her clothes. It would take too long. Hmm. Take the rope. Well, ah! we didn't seem like we needed to go up I there. don't think there's anything else up there. Ah! But the rope could still come in handy. Young to die. Uh oh, should I have saved? Do you want me to kill you? What is that? Drop this? it. This? Sure thing. Does the term breaking shoot mean ah! anything to you? Zazzy, Zazzy, you shouldn't mess with people who are smarter than you. Come a little closer. I'll show you who you shouldn't mess with. One. I'm warning you, Ned. Two. You'd better think about this. I'll follow you to the end of the world to get my revenge. What's the difference? You're hunting me now, even though I just want to be left in peace. <laughs> but next time it'll be personal! We're right over the Northlands, miles from the nearest settlement. By the time you get your hands on a ship, I'll be several days ahead of you. Oh, just one knobby little finger left. You know what, Nate? I'll leave you for now. But we'll be meeting again sooner than you think. Huh? Don't worry, I'll find you. After all, you won't be going much farther. You... what the...? Uh-oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mind your surroundings. That was... Hey! You! This is a nature reserve, protected by Petra! What if you landed on one of the penguins, hmm? What then? Huh? I'm afraid I know what that is, and I'm afraid I know its plan for me. Hmm. This is what I hate about living in a fantasy world. We've got absolutely everything here. A two meter tall hairy monster that lives in the eternal ice and eats people? Sure, why not? Even if I got my feet out of the ice and could escape the monster, I wouldn't be safe. Out there is an icy waste waiting for me, and Mazaz. I just hope that Mary survived the collision with the flying iceberg. She's my only chance of escape. As soon as I get my feet out of the ice, I have to either escape unnoticed, or whine so pitifully that the Yeti turns away in disgust. <laughs> At any rate, the guy is too big and hairy to fight. As soon as I get my feet out of the ice... At any rate... The Yep, okay. I'd love to think that the Yeti is making me a nice hot soup, but the reality is probably very different. Yeah, he might want to make you into a nice hot soup. I'd love to think that the Yeti is making me a...
Ooh, a metal cylinder. Maybe the handle of an ancient weapon. Just a bit more. <laughs> a lot more. Hmm. Um. Is there anything you can reach? Like anything at all? What am I supposed? Uh Oh, hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything else I can interact with. Like... I'm probably missing something once again. Aha. Uh -huh. Oil lamp. Strange. You wouldn't expect such modern technology in a Yeti cave. Maybe the previous owner of the cave ran into the Yeti and... Well... The lamp is filled with oil. If it fell, the oil might catch fire and cause some confusion. The lamp is filled with oil. So how do we make the lamp fall? It doesn't look like we can reach anything. We can't reach that, whatever it is. Is there anything we can like throw at the lamp or anything that's that's within reach? The snowman there isn't. So we've got the cooking pot, the yeti, the oil lamp, and whatever that is, but we can't reach that. And we need to somehow make the oil lamp fall. Oh, oh, just the cooking pot. We've already looked at that. I seriously can't figure this out. We oh, what was that? Oh, the Yeti. Thought I had found something, but no, it was just just the Yeti. Hmm, and obviously we have nothing in our inventory either. Well, this may be another place where I have to take a look at the walkthrough. So, uh, just a moment. Ah, so apparently all we have to do to get things going is to reach for this once again. All right, time to concentrate. This lousy just doesn't work. to throw the apple at the lamp. Aim carefully and... The monster's out cold. Now to get out of here.
or not? Monster? What monster? What the? What? What are you doing up there, young man? Hmm? Who? Who are you? Cornelius Montgomery Happerplap is the name. Happerplap? <laughs> Now, see here. I'm a zoologist, mountain climber, and recognized expert in the field of polar exploration. And along the way, you like a little cosplay? This is part of my mission. I am on the trail of a major discovery. <laughs> a mystery. A sensation. I am searching for... The Yeti. Have you... have you already encountered the Yeti? Not personally, but I have discovered footprints and hair. I believe he has even been here in my research station. Oh, <laughs> incredible. Oh, he is clever. It's as if he knows my every step and thus escapes observation. Are you all right? Do you sometimes have headaches or do you hear voices? At the moment, I only hear your voice, old chap. <laughs> no, 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 quite seriously. I don't hear the voices as frequently as I did, but I have had constant headaches since the fall. Blackouts as well. For example, I can't remember what I did this morning. You fell? Into a crevasse. I was following the trail of the Yeti for several hours. The clever beast led me in circles, again and again. And eventually you got so dizzy you fell into a crevasse. It was exhaustion. I had been hunting the monster for several months, and they all thought I was mad. Since my fall, the situation has improved. I find tracks much more often. <laughs> Things are finally looking up, my young friend. We're in the Northlands, right? Indeed. One could say we're up to our ankles in snow and ice. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for jokes. My airship crashed. How can I get away from here? I'm rather pessimistic about the next few months. Winter is coming. This isn't winter? No, not at all. In winter, you would freeze within 20 minutes. This is a beautiful summer's day. You can survive almost an hour in the open. Terrific. Could you help me? I'm stuck. How did you get up there? I suspect that the Yeti hung me up here in his pantry. The Yeti was here? Ooh, did you see him? With my own eyes. He was hairy and white. About your size. Oh, fantastic! Get me down! The Yeti isn't the only dangerous creature here in the area. The real danger is green and hopping mad. Have you tried taking off your shoes? Huh. Uh. Uh. Young man? There you go. Wait a moment. I have some shoes you can use, and I shall make us a nice hot soup. It's nice to have... Whoa. Everything okay? Ah! I don't believe it. Yikes. Um... of something. Great! My fate will depend on the outcome of a fight between a huge white monster and a little pink one. I wonder what sort of critter that is. Marooned. Chapter 2. A little earlier.
Oh no. <laughs> you funny. I think we should leave you behind. <gasps> no. Are you trying to kill us all, boy? Kukum. Speak in the tongue of this country. Bula Dula Ha. He must learn it, Layla. Leave him be. Didn't mean it. I know. It's mere incompetence. I don't wish to stay here for another year just because of him. Leave alone. Get to work, and you out. Go someplace where you can't make trouble. Papa! Aww. Yes, quite broken. Pull up to spring show. Faster with heart, longer without. Hello, hmm. talk. The word is hello. Come back when you can speak the language. Okay, can't talk to her anymore. Um... Alarm light. can do. Um. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot we can interact with. Hold on, put. Can't you bother someone else? I know that Layla would like her ball back, but she needs to be punished. I'll return it to her after the sorcerer's been here. And you stay out of matters between me and my daughter. Understand? Oh, go away! Can't you bother someone else? Oh, so apparently we can't take that. Um... I guess there's... Tenna. Tenna to Lula! Oh, 
Okay, we've got an antenna. Can we do something with it? Do we need to go out? No use for the junk. Penguin? Hmm. No? Okay. Great. Box. Antenna and straw. Anything else? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Why can we still rummage through then? Hmm, weird. Generator? Broken generator. Oh, I I thought we could have somehow used the antenna there, but no. Um, apparently critters not one to fix things. Barrel. <laughs> Dip the straw into the no. The antenna? No. Got adhesive tape, straw, and antenna. Antenna with adhesive tape. Can't use that on anything. What about- How's it going? How much longer will it take? 
Not long. Hurry up, sweetie. The sorcerer could be here at any moment. And once we've got the heart, I don't want to stay here one minute longer than necessary. Weapon ready? I'm not going to give a weapon to the likes of Munkus. He's getting other equipment from me. That is bad enough. Go on. The time window is closing and you know what it means. Time window. Mm. Yes? But snow better than sand. Sand breaks gears. Sand is the enemy of machines. Sand evil. Mm. Hello? Hello, poop. No? Almost done. Shh. Must concentrate. Okay. Hmm. Hang on better. Next time. Chukum. Never mind. Been in love, too. Mm -hmm, of course not. Hello, poop. Must work. You need not help. <laughs> Aww. No, can't use this to get that. No. Hmm. I guess we go back outside. human stuff. I need it for my protest. Huh? Don't worry. That crate is biodegradable. It can't hurt you. Hello, Ooh! Hello, little guy. Don't be afraid. Petra is here and she loves all animals. Even the ugly ones. Huh? All right. Stone 
the stuff mm -hmm. Nate's not here though oh yeah this is earlier We need to accomplish. Apparatus. <laughs> oh, is it a, a trap of some sort? Nothing else. So that's like a lightsaber. Looks like. Looks like. Okay. Apples in the net. Mouths, foots. Hmm, didn't do anything. Can't poke them with this. No. 
solo. Ooh. Mouse, foot. Uh -uh. Hmm. Rata black top pull up. Don't want to go in there. Okay. So, the scales and balloon, is, is this all we needed from here? Hmm. Maybe. It doesn't seem to be anything else we can do here. Generator. Don't think we can fix it with the stuff that we've got. No? Must work. You need not help. I know that Layla would like her ball back, but she needs to be punished. <coughs> yes, what is it? I'm busy. Layla! I've told you a thousand times to leave her alone. My daughter is far out of your reach and always will be. <coughs> she deserves better than you. If you were smarter, you would realize that. Go away. Aww. I seriously do not know what we're supposed to accomplish here. So I'm just going to end this episode here and I'm going to take another look at the walkthrough to point me in the right direction, get things moving again. So for now, thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please do leave it a like. I would really love that. And also please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.